Hi, I'm just uh, been rebuilding this rack here, so I thought it was a great idea to give everyone an update of the equipment that I have at the moment in my home theatre system. So obviously the rack is a big bit here. It's actually a rack that you find in a data centre, so it's built for housing computers and other electrical equipment. I decided it would be a good idea to put everything into a rack in my own house simply to consolidate everything as you can see here and tidy up the cables because um, when you have everything like this all the cables are managed at the back and I only need the speaker cables, a couple of power cables, HDMI for my projector, a subwoofer and a network cable and um, everything else is between all the bits and pieces here. So what we have starting from the bottom is a Bryston power amp. Now this is a rated as 500 watts per channel, but on the bit of paper that comes to mind, it says it's actually 600 or so. Um, the next level up here, we've got Emotiva XPA5. I purchased this to run 7.1 in my previous house where I had a bit more room. So at the moment, it's only running three channels, the uh, center and the two at the back. Um, it's a great amp for value for money wise, it really added a, a good amount to my sound experience, you know, it's just power all the way around uh, now with both of these power amps in here. The next level up is an Emotiva UMC1 processor, so I don't have uh, an integrated processor and um, amps or AVR, so everything is separate. Um, this is um, as most people will know if they've been following the stories, had some issues at the start. It still um, has some little tweaks every now and then that uh, need to be addressed, but it's pretty solid in terms of, of what I um, use it for at the moment. Up here is my home theater PC. This is uh, much bigger than what it needs to be now. When I first started, it was running an AMD uh, processor with a dedicated graphics card and sound card and what have you. And at the moment, it's running some tiny uh, Intel board there with an i3 on it, and I'm basically using everything uh, off that board and not even uh, got any other cards in there at all. Then up here, I've got my Samsung Blu-ray player. It's the BDP 1400. This is the first Blu-ray player that I purchased. It's far too slow at loading movies. I haven't actually seen how fast some of the new ones are, but it really irritates me how long it takes to, uh, to load up a movie on this. Um, unfortunately, it's still working, so it's a bit hard to justify getting something else at the moment. Here, we've got two boxes uh, for cable television. This one is actually running over the telephone line. That's from the local company Singtel called Mio TV. I had to get this for English Premier League and Formula One and the Rugby World Cup that's coming up. And then this one here um, basically is for everything else. So uh, this one's um, for StarHub. It's actually a Cisco box and this one is actually a, a Motorola box. So all of these components um, are all connected via HDMI to my Emotivo processor and then um, all the sound obviously coming out through the power amps there. So that's basically it. Right, so I'm just going to turn this around and show you the back. So if anyone has ever tried to lift a Emotiva XPA5 or a Bryston 14BST, you'll know how bloody heavy they are. But with this, it's just a matter of turning it around and uh, very, very easy to do, which is the benefit of having this uh, rack for sure. So once we're in here, you can basically do what you want. At the moment, there's a few power cables but um, I haven't added anything else at the moment so uh, I need to go and connect everything else up again but that's basically what it looks like in the back up here you've got uh, two power boards which are already uh, come well basically you configure these how you, you want it and uh, I've got another power board that I've got off that which has got uh, universal plugs on it rather than the local Singaporean or UK standard um, there are some fans in here but they're AC fans they're far too fast and noisy uh, but I just thought I'd put them in um, in case I need to sell the whole thing later on. And then, um, you know, the, the power cable can be uh, disconnected for the fans, which is what's been done here. And it's just a matter of one cable coming out from here for all um, these components. So that's uh, pretty flexible in terms of giving every, uh, everything power in here and laying it all out. So I've got to uh, go and put all the cables back in here now, so I'll go and do that and then I'll uh, show you what it looks like after that.
All right, so it's not uh, too pretty at the moment, but uh, I could probably tie up a few things. Most of the power here I've tried to force down the right-hand side, any of the signal stuff coming down mostly on the left-hand side. Uh, the only cable coming out at the moment, this is the power plug that goes up to the main boards here. Uh, and I've got the rest of the stuff that I need to connect up behind here. But essentially, that's how it looks like at the moment. So I'll uh, come in and take up some uh, close-up close shots and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to be changing my speaker cables. I've got these, and it's the box that comes in, so Emotiva X-Series cables. They're about six meters long, and this is what they look like. Um, at the moment, they've got uh, some banana plugs on them, but you can actually just unscrew these, take them off, and they provide you with some spades, which you can put on as well. So, uh, I'm going to connect these now. Um, and uh, hopefully it will make life a bit easier because I've just been using bare wire before that so this is going to be easier to pull out and pull in and change things when I'm uh, moving things around. Right, so uh, my speakers, I have uh, old Genesis speakers which I've acquired second hand from different people over the years. This is a Genesis 700 speaker. The uh, left and the right are Genesis 400 speakers and uh, behind me I have two IM 8200s which are two-way round speakers which I've got uh, pictures of on my blog. The screen here is an OS screen, it's a 100 inch uh, fixed screen. I had used to have a tripod screen and then a, uh, a standard 4.3 screen and then went to uh, this and uh, I think it's very very good, very happy with it. These boxes and things on the side are uh, after a chat from a local forum came around and um, had a listen to my setup we suggested getting some of these things to help uh, with diffusion of some of the sound and also especially around the bass traps which are the big boxes um, here at the bottom to help with uh, some of the bass management because inside this concrete uh, apartment they do get uh, a lot of problems with some of the sound. So these panels do help with some absorption and um, it does actually make a, a hell of a difference in terms of some of the aspects, especially around the bass. It's a bit hard to see uh, from the angle here, but this is one of the Genesis IM 8200s that acts as my uh, sides or ears, whatever you want to call them. And the big box over here is an SVS subwoofer. That's a 12 inch, and uh, that's one of the few things uh, in the speakers. In fact, it's the only speaker in the room that uh, is bought new. Uh, that was imported from the US directly when we had a, a mass order here in Singapore off the local forum Extreme Place. Uh, that's really good, it really does uh, rock the chair. And a sofa and you're, you're sitting on there during a movie and um, you don't need the, the base set shakers that you can get to attach to your uh, sofa because the sub really does rock the whole room. And that's about it for my whole system.